Hey guys, what's up? This is Shubhari from eGadgets for you, and in this video, I have the all new Samsung Galaxy F41. Yes, friends, I have actually purchased this particular device from the Flipkart Big Billion Day sale. I have um, what I've done is that I've actually exchanged my six year old iPhone 6 and I've got a good deal on that uh, particular thing and also have applied uh, my SPI debit card on checkout so I've got an instant discount and the total price believe it or not it has come around to 8500 rupees for me yeah guys it's a great deal so yeah I've go, gone ahead and purchased this particular device and it's now time to unbox and see what's inside and the, give you the first impression of this particular device without further ado let's get to it so guys going ahead with the box you see this is a Samsung Galaxy F41 um, and obviously if you go to the back it, uh, it says about the, uh, some of the particular USB of this particular device as you can see it says about the full rectangular 16.21 cm 64 megapixel triple camera 6000 mAh battery super AMOLED display 32 megapixel front camera so a lot of uh, USB are there let's just quickly go ahead and open this particular device and see what's inside the particular box as you can see that the box has been open okay some things are actually over here so let me just go ahead and pull this off and see what's uh, included in this particular box you find this particular sim ejector tool as always and with samsung as always as a case some documentations are there um, of course you see some of these regular quick start guide the region log guide the warranty card stuff like that the documentations uh, keep it aside for now this is a handset and of course what I need to do yeah there is no such pull tabs this is a particular handset as you can see uh, we'll come to that we'll come to that let's just wait a little more and see what's more into the box you see this particular 15 uh, watt uh, power brick that they are actually supplying with this particular device Apple you should learn something guys of course damn you should learn something anyways we are going off topic the wall brick is included and along with that particular wall brick you see you get this particular type C adapter as well to USB point so this particular things comes uh, with the box and obviously it's a budget handset there is no case as such so let me just quickly go ahead and get started with this particular handset so this is the handset guys let us just quickly go ahead and open this okay remove this particular plastic cover you see it is a sea green color and i have gone with a 64 gb variant there is a reason to that the reason i'm just showing you right now it's because of this when i go ahead and just take out the sim ejector tool from here you see that this particular handset supports dual sim and there is a dedicated slot for the micro sd card that supports up to 512 gigs so if i run out of space I have the micro SD card support to go with it anyways moving on let me just give you a quick physical over configuration of this particular handset at first towards the left as you can see you get the sim ejector tool and towards the top you have the secondary noise cancellation microphone towards the right hand side of this particular device are the volume rockers and the power on and off button towards the bottom you find the speaker grills the microphone and the type c charger point and most importantly the 3.5 mm headphone jack that's a great deal front you get this 32 megapixel camera over here uh, super amulet screen uh, no screen card is actually pre-applied from samsung in this particular device as you can see and towards the back you will see that the 64 megapixel is a triple camera setup with a single flash and a physical fingerprint scanner is present at the back as well i'll just go ahead and fill this particular sticker as well so it does not like uh, uh, it, it, it bodes well actually you know end of the day but uh, yes moving ahead what I need to make sure over here is that you see this particular texture it's a sea green color of course you can see it's a green color that's a thing and he, there uh, if you can see minutely you get a blackish texture towards this particular side as well so that's a great deal but yeah it's a fingerprint magnet uh, you have to apply us uh, like a um, case cover or something like that and it's plastic of course but let me hear you the sound It, it, it actually feels solid there is no like cracks or creaks or something like that happening with this particular sound it's plastic of course uh, but yeah it's well built you can see and in the in-hand filling is actually very good so yeah let's just go ahead and power on the device for the very first time while i give you the configuration overview of this particular device the samsung galaxy s41 is powered by a exynos 9611 chipset that is based on a 10 nanometer process 
uh, it has a GP of Mali G72 MP3 it has a CPU of octa core that has four cores of 2.3 gigahertz uh, Cortex A73 and four cores of 1.7 gigahertz running on Cortex A53 it comes with Android 10 one UI code 2.1 straight out of the box it has a super AMOLED screen 420 nits that peaks at the brightness level it has a 6.4 inch of screen size it has a resolution of 1080 pixels 19.5 s to 9 aspect ratio 403 ppi pixel density is available in this particular device it supports your dual sim and there there is a dedicated slot for your micro sd card as well in terms of optics it serves you with a 64 megapixel primary camera that has a focal aperture of 8 by 1.8 has a 8 megapixel ultra wide camera with a focal aperture of 8 by 2.2 it has a 5 megapixel depth camera with a focal aperture of f by 2.4 it has a single led flash and it supports video for 4k at 30 frame per second and 1080p at 30 frames per second as well. You do not find OIS, but EIS is actually uh, available in the primary camera of this particular handset. Uh, as far as the selfie cameras goes, it has a 32 megapixel front camera with a focal aperture of f by 2.0. It can shoot video at 4K at 30 frames per second and 1080p at 30 frames per second as well. In terms of battery, you are charged with a 6000 milliampere of non-removable battery it comes with black blue and green uh, color of the handset as well this is a very first look of the samsung galaxy f41 once the setup has been done and as you can see this particular screen is actually looking very very bright and yes of course if we just go ahead and dig deep into this particular handset for now you will see that in this particular handset already a lot of download a lot of updates has already started on its own so uh, yes you have to go ahead and actually let them finish or complete uh, whatsoever like uh, um, very quickly if we just go ahead and at first just go to the settings you will find it's a typical Samsung One UI 2.0 this particular thing is particularly present over here and of course you go to this particular uh, phone uh, details about phone and over here you will see that the phone numbers and the model numbers and stuff like that and you just go to the software information so you'll see that it's yeah Samsung One uh, UI 2.0 Android version 10 it's particular this particular features comes along and of course down the line it will get Android 11 update as well Furthermore, if we just go ahead and go to device care over here, you will see that over here it will calculate the battery percentage stuff like that. Of course, uh, as I have said you that it comes with a 6000 milliampere battery and uh, out of the storage, as I have told you, I have opted for the 64 gigs variant. I have not yet installed any of my apps as of now. And you see that you will uh, actually 15.4 GB is used and 48.6 GB is available for you and as I've told you there is a slot for the dedicated micro SD card so no issues whatsoever on that and in the memory front it comes with a 6 GB of RAM uh, as you can see it will actually uh, currently it's using the 2.3 GB uh, out of the 6 GB and security is there by default the Samsung Knox security is uh, present over here so the Mac Cafe and all so you can go ahead and scan your phone such so that I'll keep it for uh, later on I'll do that no issues for that uh, one another thing that I have actually uh, seen over here you see that is digital well-being and parental controls so digital well-being as you can actually know nowadays we are spending a lot of time uh, with our phone so yes of course if you go ahead and set up this particular thing so uh, in one particular time uh, it will actually disconnect you from your phone and it will good for you. you can give your family some time and you can like uh, give your eyes the straining eyes of you some more time as well and of course there is a parental control because if your kids is using your particular phone you can go ahead and uh, like apply this particular parental control i'll get to it in the later half of the video when i do the full review of this particular handset now if we just go ahead and talk about the bloatwares you will find that by default it has snapchat daily hunt and stuff like that and yes of course sorry uh, for that uh, of course you will find that you can actually uninstall this particular apps is junk waste are present so yeah uh, it's a budget handset you can expect that from Samsung but yeah of course unlike um, the me ads are not yet coming as of yet yes of course I have um, disabled every possible functionalities or features so yes apps um, bloatface some bloatface are of course there as you can see 
it runs on the normal 60 hertz uh, only guys uh, no fancy 90 hertz or uh, no fancy 120 hertz present in this particular device but yeah let me just go ahead and uh, actually go ahead and type in my uh, website over here yeah, it's so yes i'm typing in my website over here as you know that i am into app development and website development so this is my particular website easy solutions for you dot in uh, a tad heavy yeah, of course it's a tad heavy website so i'll just go ahead and see that how it runs and how it performs in this particular device of course uh, you can see that you are responsive and efficient website development app development digital marketing stuff so that okay although yeah you do not find that 60 um, that fancy 90 hertz or a 120 hertz display so yeah but still no lags whatsoever as you can see of, of course this is actually recording in 30 uh, frame per second so you will actually not get to feel even the 60 hertz screen over here also but anyways uh, till now I'm not finding any lags whatsoever so I'll just go ahead and test this particular device for the, more in the, for the full review as well and uh, yes we will get to that as well now the most important aspect is the camera as you can see that it's powered by a triple camera at the rear so yes you know by now that let me just focus in uh, a bit more for this particular camera so yeah as you can see that the, it's a triple camera setup over here which is powered by a 64 megapixel primary camera as you can see so yes, I'll shoot some of the sample photos and you be the judge, initial judge of this particular handset that how the camera performs. Guys, this video is shot from the back camera of Samsung Galaxy F41. I'm recording it in 4K. And this is my son. Hi, Prince. Chalo, let's go, Prince. Let's go. Let's go over there. Let's go over there. Come, 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 come. Go, 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 go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, let's go. Come, let's go. So, guys, you can see that actually, I'm just. Uh, let me just do one thing. Let me just move ahead at first and see uh, how the stability is there in 4K. Uh, sorry for my voice because I'm wearing a mask outside. Although it's near my house, so my son is not wearing it, but still I'm wearing it for the safety of this video. Uh, now let me just switch back to full HD and see how the recording is done over there. Hi, hi Prince. This recording is done with full HD from the back camera of Samsung Galaxy F1. Again, I'll just walk through the video quickly. I'll just walk through it and so you can let uh, get an idea about the stability of this particular thing in this particular camera and of course here yeah, my son is playing with me when you're at house he's not wearing a mask although i'm wearing one because i had to go to the shop before shooting this particular video hey guys this video is shot from the front camera of the samsung galaxy f41 and i'm recording in 4k the reason i'm not wearing a mask is because i'm in the roof of my own house so yeah um, i was out so at that time i was wearing a mask but now i'm not what i'll do is that before anything i'll just run so you can take a look at the stabilization how it is so and stay subscribed to my youtube channel because very soon i will come with a detailed review the camera reviews and every aspect of this particular samsung galaxy f41 stay subscribed and turn on the notification bell as well so that will be it guys for this particular video bye for now